Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. And I have been adding a lot to my gear lately. I want to go ahead and give you a look-see at some of the things that I purchased recently. I've just recently acquired this Starling Stick. Right now I'm using this really good line, the Siberia Hybrid. I'm only using on here for now. Eventually I want to get it on a different rod that I purchased. That is this uh, Express Fishing Heavy. But the problem with that is the problem with that is I haven't had the money to buy a reel. I actually ran out of money, so I'm gonna have to, to do some fishing to get enough money to get another reel. But I was able to to pick up this. And that's my Asteria. This is one that uh, Kachi talks and raves about. This is an awesome reel. And it's a, a feeder reel, or a feeder reel, feeder rod. But I'm using the Lacerti 4000S with 11 pound test line. And we're going to see if we can't lay into some bigger fish with this guy. He, he speaks highly of this particular rod, and I figured I might as well go ahead and pick that one up. Uh, I've got the basic starter spinning rod with the Corona S60MH. And then I've got the other one. I've got to eventually get to the point where I can use it. But one of the things he told me is this Express Fishing Tiny Spoon at number 9, the little green and the silver one, is an absolute pike killer from what I've been told. So we're going to see if that is the case. And I definitely believe that he's usually right on these things. So anyway... I have been adding a lot of stuff to my gear, and we're going to see what we can do with this, guys. We're going to try to get the level 8, and if we can get the level 8, we can get all the way to the Winding Rivulet, and that's my eventual goal. Maybe do some catfishing, because apparently some people are a little bit tired of me catching just pike. Not sure why. I mean, how can you get tired of catching pike? Anyway, let's see what we've got here. I've got in my hand the Corona and the Asteria and the Sorrento but I think I'm gonna put my Starling stick in here just because I want to give it a try here so let me go ahead and get this Asteria set out let's see it's my yeah, it's my second one I've got corn on this and I have already caught some pretty decent sized fish off of this so I'm gonna to toss this out here and we're gonna go ahead and set it up here. I see that one we won't have to watch, we just have to listen for. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our new starling stick out here. Let's set our let's set it to about uh a meter, I guess. Meter's kinda standard. Now I've got a maggot on it, so I'm going to try that, and maybe if I don't have any luck with that, we'll try the casters. Casters are the pupa. I've had quite a bit of luck with them so far, too. Go ahead and set that down. And yes, you can hold on to them. I'm not going to be doing that at this time, because I'm also going to be casting. So I've got to really keep myself aware of what my surroundings and what's going on, guys. So I'm doing three different types of fishing here. I'm doing float fishing, bottom fishing, and spin casting. Now let me see. I need to put this down to about 10 for what I've been told. And let's put the let's put the tension up to about 22. Keep an eye on that one. But we're gonna reel this in real slow. And pause every now and then and reel it again and we're gonna keep on doing that and if something happens I will definitely bring you back guys right now it seems like things are a little slow but it's gonna start picking up I guarantee you Actually, we are getting a little action on that one over to the right. So, I'm going to get this one in. Yep, 
And I'm going to keep my eye on this. I was getting a few nibbles there. It's my third rod. Ah, uh, shoot. Looks like he... No, he's not quit on me yet. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Come here, big fella. Oh, he's a big one. He's a big old fella. Might need my net for this one. Yep, Crucian Carp. He is a little over a kilogram. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. There we go. Very nice fish. All right, let's see. Let me go ahead and grab this here real quick. I'm gonna. Not sure why it's not reeling in. There it goes. Okay, we got it. All right, let's try casting this out again over in this direction. See if we got us any pike over here. See if they're interested in this kind of thing. Yeah, that last carp was a pretty healthy carp. Pretty healthy carp. The closer it gets to nighttime, the better. Alright, let me check with my. That's my real speed. Let's try casting over this way. Oh, that's not good. Don't want to cross the lines if we can help it. And we're starting to get activity over there. Ah, uh, shoot. We're going to have to put this down. Yeah, he is determined. And we got him. We got him. Oh, you little butthole. He got clean off that hook. I had him. I had him. That sucks. Alright, well, let's go ahead and bring this one in like we were. It happens. Sometimes fit get the better of you. That's just a fact, fact of life, guys. It's just a fact of life. I know there's some pike over here. I have caught them on more than one occasion. There we go. We got one. We got one. About time. I don't think it's a pike. It's If it is, it's a very small pike. It's probably a perch. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, he told me that the perch just love this one too. Hold on, let me go over here to the to this one. Looks like I'm getting some more activity on here again. <clears throat> yeah, I've got to get me some fish because I got some cash. I really need to get me a new reel for my heavy spin casting rod. I thought I'd have enough and I just flat ran out of money. 
until I can get that geared up, I'm not going to be able to go out on the boat because I want to be able to do some trolling. And I need to have at least two spin casting rods. I'm going to have the Corona and the Heavy Express fishing. Now, keeping three rods out is kind of like multitasking. <laughs> So you really got to be aware of what's going on. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I haven't gotten any. Oh, that was a lousy guess. Uh, whoa, what the hell? Okay, I did. I just now noticed that. <laughs> Check this out, guys. He thought he was going to make a break for it. <laughs> a nice little gable cart, but he had made quite a distance, some distance on that, I'll tell you. Oh, looks like I ran a bait. Let's see here. Why don't we switch over to these casters? Let's see how they do. The pupae. Give them a little something different to taste, you know? I looked over there and saw that the the bobber was no longer way over to the left, it was way over to the right, and the line was taut. There we go. I'm gonna keep tension on this guy. I'm not gonna lose this one like I did last time. I think it's a perch. No, it's a little pike. Oh, isn't he cute? <laughs> little bitty pike. Oh, isn't he precious? Let's keep him. I thought I saw that line moving, but it wasn't it at all. Yeah, it's starting to get dark, and as it gets dark, I'm going to probably go over to a different location to fish. This isn't the best area to fish at night. Yeah, they just added a new update to this game, and apparently now there's wear and tear to your lures, and I think they also said that there's, I think I've got some activity going on there. Yeah, I do. Oh, wait. Better go ahead and bring this in for a second here. Okay, what is he doing? See, is he dragging it? Uh, I'm not really sure what he's doing. Well, he didn't have it, but we're starting to get a little bit late here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our gear. We're going to head on over to a different fishing location. 
Always make sure you put your rods away because all this brush and stuff can mess it up. And this is the drunken path and this is why it's called that. Because it literally, it's like a drunken person made it or something. The wine's left and right and right and left. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get back to the main location, and we're going to see about selling these fish off. Alright, guys, here we are at the fishmonger, fish market, whatever you want to call it. Wow, three gold, or not three gold, I wish it was three gold, <laughs> three silver for that one fish. Yeah, the little pike didn't bring very much. Actually, none of the others did. But that one did. And that's helpful. Now, I'm going to come over here and get some chow at the chow wagon. Get my hunger all the way up. Yum, yum, yum. Now I did take a look in the market to see what, if anything, had changed, and the only thing I saw, is, I don't remember this pasteurized milk being here, but it doesn't seem to give you any bonuses that I thought it would, but I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Might be good for, my, for me health-wise. Everything else looks the same for the most part, except for this. I do not remember this milk chocolate. It's quite expensive, and they only have the milk chocolate. The dark chocolate is out of stock, but no bonuses for that either. So I'm not sure what the heck the changes have been, to be honest. I'm going to have to do a little more research on that, because I think there is... Well, I understand there are bonuses or special attributes to different foodstuffs, and I'm not sure how that works just yet. I'm going to have to do a little bit, like I said, a little bit of research. See what the deal is, because I think I just don't know how to do it, to be honest, what it boils down to. I haven't seen... Um, Kachi has not had any time to put out some new tutorials, and Lady of Games hasn't either. I think she's on uh, her weekend outing, so until they get something out, I guess I'm just going to have to be hanging here for a little bit. But since we are fishing at night, obviously we're not going to be able to use our spinning rod, so we're going to pull this one back into place. And I think I'm going to pull my starling stick down here. Let's see. I'm going to pull my Sorrento up here. And then I'm going to pull my... Asteria. Well, shoot. I want to get... Okay, there we go. There we go. Now I've got the arrangement I want. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get, you know, get your things situated the way you want. I'm just going to put out one feeder rod this time, and that's my new Asteria. This is a badass rod, and it is heavy duty early on. If you get the money to purchase it, I would suggest purchasing it. I will... I will Honestly, guys, I did break down. I did break down and bought some gold coins because I wanted to be able to make this move a little bit faster. And that's really the only way I could do it. But considering the fact that this is such an awesome game and they have been so supportive, I figured that I'm going to support them too. There we go. 
All right, we got that one set. Let's go ahead and see what we can do about a little float fishing over here. Put this one out. Still got it at a meter. That's good enough. Back up a little bit here. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the same thing I've got on here, too. Let's zoom in. Looks like we got some pretty strong wind there. So three meters per second, so that's about... I don't know how many miles per hour that is, but it's pretty strong. Let's just put it that way. I think we're getting us a bite on this one here. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Oh yeah, we are getting us a bite. Got off of it. Daggone it. Usually when they lift up like that, it's usually a good sign that they've got it, but it's usually a typical gibble carp reaction, but eh, we just gotta be patient, guys. Just got to be a little on the patient side. Alright, looks like we're finally getting something on this first rod. Let me go ahead and pick it up. That way if he gets on it, I can just yank his little finny butt out of here like that. There you go. Common roach. like morning's coming. Yeah, I had to do a little bit of a pause there, guys. So time went by a little bit quicker. As you know, in this game, the time keeps ticking, whether you stop or pause or not. My wife needed something to snack on, and the passage of time kept moving. So we're probably going to do the same once it gets daylight. This spot's always my go-to spot at night. During the day, it just depends on what I'm in the mood for. I might go over to the dock to the left of this. And I might go over to the big dock. Just haven't really decided yet. Actually, would kind of like to check out the spin casting over there, and throw out some feeder rods. Ooh, we have got us some activity on rod number two. Oh wow, he he has gone under and stayed under. There we go. Oh, a ruffy. I have never I've never caught one of these. Honest to God, I've never caught one of these. This must be new. Yeah, I have not seen a Ruffy yet. If it isn't new, I just haven't caught one, but I've caught them plenty of times in fishing, uh, not fishing planet, uh, ice lakes. Oh, he is a cool little fish. I like him. I like him. I really do. Well, it looks like we are in full daylight, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to make a big move here go ahead and pick this rod up we what the heck was that we got nothing on the feeder rod this time which is kind of disappointing I'm 
but maybe we'll get lucky when we get over here. Who knows? Okay, I was not trying to do that. <laughs> I thought I hit backspace, and that meant to put it away, not to cast it. There we go, okay. Don't know what the heck's going on. Sometimes I think I'm just losing my mind. I don't know. But I think we're going to go over to the dock this time. I don't Seems like when it comes to spin casting and pike, I do so much better. Oh, let me go ahead and sell what fish I have. I don't like to hold on to fish very long. Oh, wow. He's... He's... He might be little, but... He's not bad price-wise. I'd like to get more of those. Alright, let's go down to the dock here, guys. Alright, I am back guys. I had to take care of something and let me go ahead and get things set up. You can't put your rods down on the dock. I don't know if you saw some of the other earlier episodes, but it's not a problem to set things down. It looks like things are getting calm wind-wise, which is good. So, let's see, what are we going to use here guys? I think we're going to use... I think I'm going to go ahead and use my Sorrento. We're going to put a couple feeder rods in, and then we're going to go ahead and use our casting rod. So we're going to put the Corona in the first one. So, let me see. What have I got? Okay, I still have the green on that one. Now on my Sorrento, I've got corn. I think I'm going to change that. I'm going to change it to uh, Pearl Barley. Just to be different. And this is a real good place to... Well... That's a real good place to do this because I caught quite a few fishing just off the edge right there and the other good place for the my hysteria and I'm gonna keep this with corn is right over here and not very far out and we need to make sure we listen because it seems like under the right conditions see I'm already getting a jingle on that I'm already getting a jingle. I don't think it was the wind because there's not much wind. Let's just keep an eye on that, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and pull out our first rod. And we are going to see if we can't find us some fishies. All right, we definitely have some activity here. Hold on. Oh, God bless it. The trouble is, which rod is it? <laughs> I heard a jingle, and I'm... Yeah, I definitely heard a jingle, and... Problem is, I'm not sure which rod it was. But whatever it was wasn't serious. Wait a minute, there it goes again. Ooh, it's the first. It's. No, that's not it. It's the first rod. There we go. We got us something. Didn't have to wait too long. Come on, dude. Come on. Looks like we got us a Crucian Carp. Not too bad. Yeah, I get a lot of Crucian Carp off the Pearl Bailey, Pearl Barley. 
Personal record, the longest cast. <laughs> Seriously? That was my longest cast? Alright. Oh boy, we've got some more activity here, guys. That first rod again! Oh. Damn! What is the deal? These guys really like this pearl barley. It's good for me. Shit! <laughs> Jaw's recording. Can you get the plug? Yeah. It looks like you got a decent sized common roach. This seems to be a hot spot, guys. So we're going to keep it right here. And that is fine by me. Heck, I hardly had time to react. I already cast it out and fish attacked it within seconds See, let me cast over here and see if I can't get anything from more this direction. If one of them told Bakachi, this is very well loved by both Pike and Perch. Alright guys, it looks like Kachi's going to be free to do a hunt with me in about 10 more minutes. So I'm going to fish here for a little bit longer and then we're going to go and get with my good buddy and we're going to see if we can't poke a hole in something over on the hunter. <laughs> yeah, we have a good time doing our hunts together. Something is on this, guys. I... I mean, it's not my imagination. Oh, yep, I knew it. I knew it. I mean, I can tell. Oh, you little... Oh, I thought he got off. I thought he got off. No, he didn't get off. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it was a common roach. I knew there was a fish on there. I'm... I'm too damn experienced with fishing to know when there's a fish on something when there isn't. And I knew there was a fish on there. Even though it didn't jingle. Well guys, we have had a pretty good little fishing session. Not too bad for a good start with this new gear. But I'm going to go ahead and collect my rods here. Because I seriously want to go on a hunt with my good buddy. We don't get a lot of chance to hunt because he is seriously busy with various Russian fishing four tasks. So I'm going to take advantage of this while I have it. And we're going to end this episode, but we're going to go ahead and sell our fish. I doubt they're they are like serious big money. Well, that's not too bad. This common roach here. 1.24, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Alright. It was a pretty darn good episode, guys. 
anyway I hope you enjoyed that episode guys and there's a lot of few you know a lot of changes here a lot of good little things going on it seems like this thing is just more smooth too it looks like they've really improved the movement graphics as well so I think they've tightened things up anyway guys please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and always remember aim straight cast far and have fun I will see you later. Bye-bye.